love this district. I love this community. And we are here to have some fun today. So here at AMAC, or the Albany Morris Administrative Center, as the community may know it as, we celebrated literacy and community. We unveiled the Keeper of the Plains that you see over my shoulder, our keeper on parade, actually. We call him the bookkeeper. And fittingly, we celebrated literacy and the donation of books to about 1,400 third graders in 20 schools across our district that participate in the Read to See program. Who would like to see what's under the cover. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. As the building was being remodeled for our administrative center, a couple of things happened. Several of us were at a location downtown and saw one of the keepers at another business. Thought it would be awesome to have one and show our community pride at our new administrative center. At the same time, a former board member was talking with the donor of the, the keeper, and they agreed that it would be really awesome to have a keeper here at our administrative center. We ended up with a very generous donation from Hutton Construction, and Jack Lynch had the creative vision. The only thing that we asked of Jack was to represent the diversity of our district. And this beautiful piece is what you see. Once we knew that we were gonna have this opportunity, we thought it would be really cool to connect Old Southeast and New Southeast. And we wanted to select a student who had gone to school in this building and who now is in the New Southeast High School and ended up with a very clear choice. Jack is a magnificent artist and illustrator. He's been recognized with regional and national awards for his art. And we were lucky that he was able to do it, turned it into somewhat of a senior project, it took the entire spring semester. He painted it in the hallways at Southeast. And this is just magnificent to see the colors pop. It's, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. Originally for the process that I thought that I would be taking for it was just a freestyle, um, just me painting on the statue, but um, it developed into something way more important and in my opinion, way more inspiring to the community. Um, the design is um, a stacked book case. It's more geometric than I had originally thought it would be, but it definitely captures the attention of all the uh, audience members. Um, for the top, uh, the back side of the head is a sunflower. It's meant to represent uh, the state of Kansas. And then uh, for the actual head, it's the original uh, bookcase design that I had for it. Let's give Jack another round of applause. The bookkeeper is absolutely beautiful. And it will be such a treasure to see your work and to be reminded of our district's rich fine arts department in our district. I, I picked up a pen and a pad and started drawing when I was just a little kid, like barely even three years old. I have pictures of me just drawing on anything that I could find really. So art has always inspired me really. And definitely in my later years, like uh, my junior or senior year, it's definitely shown me that I can do so much more with my artwork than I ever imagined. I take a lot of pride in our school district being part of the community and our community supporting and being part of the school district. This is a symbol of that unity. And so to see the piece come to life is I think a very special reflection that we take our role in the community seriously. And we also value what the community does to support us. It was a uh, amazing opportunity. I would have never thought that I would be able to work on something as important as this, but uh, the statue was it was definitely really cool. And so I wanted to do it just because like, it, it was an amazing opportunity. What a great way to close out another day in the Wichita Public Schools than to celebrate this great and awesome keeper on parade.